I just want to talk about like something that happened in like my high school. Oh, yeah. Now it wasn't me, but it was a friend of mine. And I don't even know who really who all watches this. So you might be familiar if you maybe went to high school with me and you know what happened. But I'll just I won't I won't say names, but there was someone that was I went to high school with and she brought a picture of her brother and this brother looked nothing like her. I mean, nothing. And he, not to say she was not, you know, good looking. I don't know. But the brother was fine. I mean, he was one of the most good looking. He was like the <laughs> best looking person outside of Someone you. Someone like me, myself. But he was <laughs> Thank you. like, he it's was a, just like one up of the best guy. looking people I've ever, we've ever seen. Like we all look at this guy and we all went, that's your brother? No. And immediately I already knew this is not her brother. Um, also, the picture looked like it was cut out of a yearbook. Okay. That's your brother, and that's the only type of picture you have, like a yearbook cutout picture. That's something's not right. But immediately, some other girls were like, "Introduce me." I wasn't saying that because I knew that this is not real. Thirsty, you know. First of all, I just want to just say thirsty. Yeah. When you're absolutely thirsty, <laughs> but the you will allow yourself to go anywhere imaginary like but the th- interesting thing though is that the girl that ended up saying like introduce me now she was the least thirstiest out of everybody because she'd had a lot of boyfriends at that time I didn't even have I don't think I even had a boyfriend ever at that time so or if I did it was like nothing it was like you know like I like you but that should have been me more like but right. I could see immediately like oh yeah, this is not real so I was surprised at the person who did fall for say the who did fall for that <laughs> now it was almost so that she was targeted because that girl really wanted to be like best friends with the girl that she was going to introduce her brother to. Okay. So now they start talking and I hear through the grapevine that they've been talking on the phone every night. And I said to, so I said to the girl, brother, the brother, the brother and Mm -hmm. the girl that the sister introduced her to, which is another friend of ours. Okay. Okay. So I hear that they're talking every night. So she's not going to recognize her voice. Well, no, but this is the thing. We don't know what happened yet, though. Just wait. So I'm like, so you're talking to the brother every night. Like, what are y'all talking about? Oh, Rita, he is. Oh, my goodness. He's so understanding. He's like my best friend. He makes me laugh. Oh. We talk about everything. Oh. Um, Rita, like he is. He tells me about his practice. OK, because right. not only was he like this, like model looking guy. He also was on the UCLA football team, supposedly. Oh, wow. OK, oh, wow. UCLA. Well, his face was way too pretty for that. And um, I was like, really? And I'm like, so immediately I'm like, and this is before we had the internet like we have it now. Because I was like, you couldn't even search a person. I wanted to search it up. So a group of other people, we started trying to get information. Like, how do we get the roster of the UCLA? And then we asked the sister, can we have a roster? Can you show us like who it is? Um, Y'all asking for receipts. Yeah, we were. And she's like, oh yeah, I'll bring it tomorrow. Sure. Anyway, (laughs) so now I'm hearing that this is progressing now. Now they're not just talking. Now they're dating. I said, so you oh, met him then? No. No, we haven't. We haven't met in person, but we're going to. We're about to meet in person. But, you know, I love him. He loves me. And we are like, we're... we're Let a, me just we're tell you, this sounds disastrous. It sounds like... <laughs> oh, my goodness. So I'm totally like, what? Now, the sister... She now starts to it's, it's, she started to act starting to act weird. So um, the girl that is saying that she had a brother is yeah, starting to act weird. She's starting okay. to act weird because she's a- starting to act weird with me. I'm the one kind of raising the alarm with people like this isn't normal. I don't think this is real. She doesn't like that I'm doing that. I forgot to say though she was a new student, so this wasn't even someone like we had known over the years. This was a new student that year. Nobody knew her outside of you know school. Red so, alarms, right? And we were at a school where a lot of us had been interconnected for years because it was a church school and we all kind of went to different churches in around LA. So we knew each other. Like a lot of people, like even if you didn't know someone, like someone didn't know me per se, someone might know like a lot of my other mm-hmm. friends. And, and nobody knew versa, this But person. nobody knew her. Mm-hmm. So she started acting weird with me. She started trying to get close to my good friends. She would say, Rita, what, what grade did you get on this test? Then she would go around and tell everybody that that was her grade. Yeah, I played the violin and the clarinet and the viola and all of a sudden she was like oh I actually play the violin too and I play the clarinet yes I play the clarinet and I actually got an award for playing the clarinet and I'm like really wait I said you play the clarinet and the violin too you play the clarinet (laughs) yeah mommy played you played like five she played the clarinet viola oh my goodness violin Violin, piano piano bass clarinet 
Clarinet. Oh, space clarinet. 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 I so you ever do that? Yeah, we have. I did for years. Where? So basically, I was just like, okay, this is really weird. Then one day, we're outside of this hallway. It's just a few of us. Everybody was in class, but for some reason, we were like just about to go into class. She drops on the ground and she starts having like a seizure. And I said, what? I'm like totally shocked. And but something made me go, I don't know if this is real, but maybe just in case it is, because you know at this point I didn't have any medical training, right? So we're like, let me let's let's call nine one one. We're like, so we go get somebody from the office, and by the time she's back, she's like, no, I'm fine, I'm fine. So hold on, so hold on. Just curiosity, did she like fall out after you started trapping her into questions? Yes. All I know is that it wasn't like I was questioning her right at that moment when she started pretending she was having a seizure. It was when I started raising like questions, and I don't know if she was trying to maybe make me more sympathetic towards her by pretending like I have some seizure disorder. So when I get the person from the office, she's all like, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. And the woman's like, are you sure? Let's let's maybe you should go home. She goes, no, no, no. I'm totally okay. It just happens every now and then. We're like, well, where's your medication? Um, I forgot it. Now at this point, I'm just watching like, this is so fake. This is an accident. And, it's, and you know, I didn't even have, like I said, medical training at that point. You guys now know that I, I was a nurse practitioner before I was doing all this now. So now I know what it looks like when people pass out. And that was not that. <laughs> this was way <laughs> looking too. Back, looking she back, protected like, wow. her head. Okay. I mean, she <laughs> fell down. That is not normal. So anyways, the person from the office leaves and she fakes like she's having another one. Now this, at this point, I'm like, hmm. All right, you're gonna be all right, you know. And I just kind of like go in the classroom, and she, because I mean, I knew she was faking. So she just left her on the floor. Well, she was starting to come out of it, and everybody else was all worked up, and I didn't want to <laughs> look like like bad, but I was like, uh, I just so I kind of went in the room, like she'll be okay, you know. And so basically, I was like, man, this is really weird. Then I started to get all these prank phone calls, you know, and I'm like, okay. This behavior, and I knew who it was. So one day I confront her and I'm like, listen, don't call my house anymore. I know it's you. No, Rita, what are you talking about? I don't know. What are you talking about? That's not me. I wonder who's doing that. And I'm like, just like, cut the you know what. You know it's you. Just stop. Right. So at this point, I'm like, I just got to stay away from this girl. (laughs) Because this is like, she's catfishing this other person. This is before we even knew the word catfish. But she's like faking it with this other person. She's acting really weird with me. I don't really know what's going on. So now everybody's starting to think like, maybe something is up. Wait, wait, that took you guys that long? So I I have a question. How long did all this span? Like, like, man, I would say the the full school year. I I wouldn't say the full. It was like almost the full school year. That is a long time. Because people were not wanting to see the truth. That is a they long were not. time. So basically, so, how did this resolve? so what happened was our friend who was like saying that Dating she was now brother. going out, right? Mm-hmm. She says, you know what? I'm going to go and I'm just going to spontaneously go to the house because I've been trying to meet him for a long time. And this is just like, I got to know if it's really him. Now, she told me recently that the brother supposedly got braces recently. And I said, braces? I saw his picture. Like, guys, he looked like he would perfect everything. So why would he have braces? Why is he needing braces? (laughs) So... This is just key to the story, okay? So I'm like, what are you saying? I said, because, you know, I said that he sounds a lot like his sister. And then all of a sudden now he gets braces. He can't speak? So now no, it, would, it would change the way he speaks, right? Huh. So I said, hmm. So she said, yeah, I'm going to go and we're going to just spontaneously go to the house. So next week I'm wondering, okay, like what happened? What ended up happening? Because I noticed that there were people who were usually at school. They weren't there. And so the friend of ours, her best friend comes to me and she says to me let me tell you what happened we went by the house after talking on the phone yeah and we pretended we were on the phone but what we did was we were like oh like hold on a second because what they did was they got on a phone because remember this is before cell phones right they got on a phone very close to where her house was like a like a a pay phone or something yeah to make sure she was home and then we're like hold on a second then they left it off the hook raced to the house so that she couldn't leave they go to the house she opens the door the sister opens the door and they see that she has foil on her teeth. Okay. That's crazy. Oh. <laughs> yes. She, she, she went deep. She went all in. Y'all, 
I didn't know that they had that kind of plan. I didn't know that they called in the payphone, drove over. Like, yeah. This sounds like a whole movie. It was. It was. It's like something you see on like on TV. What? And they said, <laughs> but she was in full character. Like, got- was she dressed? Like, what she did? She have like a tie on and. Yeah, but that girl always dressed like like a guy. guy. Oh, okay. So it was like she already was like that. Now she had the braces. They open the door and they kind of like barge in. There's no pictures of the brother. There's there's no one there. And, and she has well on her teeth. Her. It was her. Like we knew this oh, whole time. Man. But guys, the sad part about this is really devastated my friend. Not so much like she felt like, oh, the love of my life. Nothing like that. It was embarrassment. And she mm-hmm. felt humiliated. So later, what happened was her best friend actually took me to the side and she said, Rita, I want to make an apology. And I'm speaking on behalf of her as well. We want to apologize to you because we really should have believed you. Uh, from the beginning. I didn't know this was happening, but apparently the sister, the fake sister, was um, speaking really bad about me behind my back because she was trying to now poison their minds against me. And she's like, we couldn't figure out why was she so angry with you? Why was she always rolling her eyes you know, behind your back and speaking all this garbage about you? But now we get what she was doing and we Mm. want to apologize. And I was like, listen, you don't even have to apologize to me. I was just trying to like, to warn you guys because I didn't want anybody to get hurt. Now, this is the thing. She takes like probably two weeks off of school because she doesn't want to face everybody. The other girl also is not coming to school. Oh my goodness. Mm. Now, this is now we're coming towards the end of school now, right? Mm-mm. And that they come back for exams. Is more right. story? Yes, because now it's just like now what happens when they see each other, right? Because you know, oh no, but, oh my but all I know is that the girl who did this catfishing, she came back first, and everybody knew it had happened. And we were at an assembly; the whole school was there. She comes and she stands behind everybody. We're all seated, and we don't even know she's there until we, we get dismissed, and we all get up from our seats, and we all see her, and everyone's like, "Oh my goodness!" You know, like I can't believe she's here. Now she's crying. She's crying. She's standing back there. And nobody except for one person, I think, reached out to her. And it was another friend of mine who reached out to her and she was being like kind to her. And everyone was like, what are you doing? Why are you talking to her? Like, look what she did. She's like, I know she made a mistake, but I still want oh, that was to, really nice. and you, you know who this person is. And I still want to, you know, be kind to her. I still want to be nice to her. Wow. And years later, I mean, the way the thing ended, I don't even think they ever saw each other face to face again after that. I don't know because I don't remember. I honestly don't remember them being at school at the same time again after that because we had finals and then we were just kind of like moved like on. Yes. But she didn't come back to school for that next year. Except one day, the woman, the girl who catfished, next year, she wasn't even a student. But one day, she just decided to come on campus and was like, hey, Rita, what's up? And and then then she was like asking for different people. And um, we were in class and I go in the classroom. One of my I was like in English class and I go into English class and I say to like some of the people there, like, do you know who's out there? And they're like, who? And And I was saying to who it was. And they were like, what? And I don't know why we all felt really scared. We were like, what is this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, was this the days? Was this Columbine days? Like pre Columbine. Pre Columbine. So we okay. were still scared because like, we knew we felt like something <laughs> was up. But regardless, every now and then, though, and this is what I find weird every now and then, I will get a friend request on Facebook. Now, it's never her, but. It's always the people in that particular circle that she tried to befriend. Wait, wait, wait. Is it uh, the gray shadowed person I was talking about earlier? No, she always, you don't it's have always pictures? a fake profile. It's a fake profile. But, it's always like huh. some model looking oh, person. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. But, but the reason why I feel like it could be her is because the people who are friends with her, they're specific All the people, people. from your high school. Not all the people, but all the people that she was trying to befriend mm. and then me, right? Oh, and so one day, that. one day I DM'd one of like an actual mutual friend. I'm like, do you know this person? She goes, no. I thought it was weird though but I just accepted the friendship request because I didn't know and I'm like I think it's so and so and she was like you're kidding she goes that's so true (laughs) anyway the saga continues into your adulthood it's so weird she could be a 40 year old woman (laughs) I just want to say one more thing though we have another person that went to high school with we were talking about the situation maybe a few years back and she said you know I feel very bad for her because I feel like she was confused about her identity and I felt that she 
should not have done, gone about it that way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I felt bad that we didn't show her more empathy. Yeah. And she we only showed acceptance. empathy for the victim. Right. And I just was like, I never looked at it like that because I had my own personal things that she was trying to do with me. So I was just like, yeah, maybe yeah. you know, not for you. but, but I looked back and I thought, wow, now that it takes an adult. And I think the difference between maybe my generation and your generation is I think you guys think about these things a lot earlier. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And people, people are more about these days. People are like, this is my true self. And if you don't like me for who I am, if you don't accept me, then yeah. I will find people that will. Right. And we yeah. were in the generation where you really did have to try and fit in. Right. Yeah. And I think you guys would have shown empathy. I do. And I think that my friend that did show empathy to her, the other person that I was telling you about, like she like she was very forward thinking. At mm-hmm. that point, I walked by like, don't even talk okay, to me. Is, I don't even know she was forward thinking, but I know who you're talking about. And she's very Christ-like. She's very about Christ. And I think she was just being Christ-like. She just thought, right. what would Christ do? And then she did it. Well, I mean, I think so too. But at the time I thought, oh, sh- what are you, this is fake. Like you really being nice to her, you know? Okay, but the thing is, is that she, the girl had stuff against you specifically. So oh, yeah. it, it wasn't really your role to mm-hmm. be like welcoming. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, welcome back. Yeah, yeah, right. Welcome back. You know? Right, right. <laughs> yeah, no. And I just want to say, like, whoever does know the story, because who knows, you could be watching. Oh, I, no! I do look at it differently. I don't think that, you know, anybody should have been tricked. I don't think catfishing was right. But I do think that there was more we could have done to accept right. mm. and be there. Because I just want to say... That person that did this, the tricking, when we had this like banquet, she went, but she was dressed in a tuxedo uh-huh. while all the other girls were dressed in dresses. Right. Now, nowadays, that would just be that like, would be a sign. Yeah, that's, 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 that's like what you want to do. That's your style. But back, but back then, it was the 90s. Everyone was like, oh, my, there was a lot of negative talk. Wow. So yeah. there was a lot of people. She was just, I don't know. I'm not going to presume anything. I was just going to say that, that we have all you've grown and evolved, I think, in our thinking and yeah. how mm-hmm. we love and show love to others who yeah, right, and acceptance right, right. yeah right oh. so behind catfishing and behind a lot of the some cases catfishing. some catfishing and beside behind a lot of the cases of people trying to find who they are there is a person that is just trying to be accepted just yeah. trying to be loved oh. you were trying to be accepted in the black community be like what's up what's y'all up? you know what I'm saying <laughs> yeah. what's and, up you know and, and we find <laughs> and we find that a lot of times we go down these crazy roads to get acceptance I don't know it's just it's an opportunity for us to just look for opportunities to love other people, embrace them and accept them. 